two things just got dropped off by the Pure Later Man. And this is my Briarfest loot. Uh, so I ordered a couple other things from Briarfest. I didn't order very much this year. I only got basically what's here in this unboxing plus uh, one more resin on the actual Briarfest weekend. And that resin was Joyride, so he should be coming at some point. Um, and then I ordered two biter resins from Raven. And then this was my Briarfest loot that I also purchased. It's kind of cool because we had Briarfest uh, virtually. I did it virtually. I participated in a video tutorial. I did get a t-shirt for that and then my stuff just came in so this is like my purchasing model special runs day. So we're gonna start with this little box and this is the celebration horse and I know that this is a celebration horse because they send him separately. So there he is, Nicholas. Very, very cute. Nicholas. I really like him. He's buckskin. I'm kind of sad that like he's really nice like as a model but when you compare him to the real horse the real horse is very creamy colored, he's very dilute, and this guy is almost edging towards bay. He's just not quite the right shade of buckskin, so I kind of wish they like made him a little bit closer to the real guy, but he's still really cute as a standalone model. And this is my big box of special runs. So I bought a few things. I didn't order a special run, special run surprise, because I was really scared. It was expensive for online people. It was $100 and it was randomized. So I was really scared that I was going to get the bears that I really didn't want. Now, the only gamble that is in here is this Rennish strap on top that I'm not going to look at because we're going to do that at the end. That's the only gambler situation that we have. I got a... Chabli, I think is how they said it on the live stream. Uh, ooh. <laughs> He's very, very nice. Oh my gosh. Very, very pretty bay. I really like the braided Atticus. I think it makes him look more sophisticated, more fancy. It's funny because I have now three bays on the Atticus mold. And then to feed my flash obsession, this guy is flawless. This is Chardonnay. Yay. Sorry, I have to look at them first. You guys don't get first look. I'm a sucker for anything flash. Ever since I bought a chestnut horse, I'm more inclined to buy chestnut briars because chestnut used to be like a really boring color that I would always pass over, but after having one and like watching him transition through the seasons, chestnut is really fascinating and it actually is a really pretty color. Then I had some fun on the briar website and this guy, is fun. This is Anthem, and Anthem is on the ethereal mold, but he's a de decorator, glossy, funky pinto. And I'm not a decorator person, I don't try and collect them. I have like one unicorn, and I have one actually decorator that lives in my kitchen because it happens to be my kitchen colors, so I bought it. This also works in my kitchen, so he may also live in the window. <laughs> But I do, I am starting to pick out a few decorators that I actually really like, just as like fun pieces to have. And this is one of my all time favorite molds. So this guy I didn't realize was glossy. This is a very American patriotic horse and I do not live in America, but this blue speaks to me and red is like one of my favorite colors. So. I was like, I don't even really care that he's American. He could be French, for all we know. <laughs> and the last but not least, well, this is the second last but not least, comes in a briar box. This was one that I wanted to order off the website for a while, but like I didn't want to just buy it randomly. So then I was like, oh, it's Briar Fest. This is a good time to buy it. And I was actually thinking of buying a couple of the regular runs as well, but none of them were in stock. But this is a online exclusive chestnut tractor who is super cute and super flawless. I love this mold and I can't explain to you why. I really, I don't know why. I have three on the mold. And why is this the moment of truth? This is the Rhenish draft 
and they listed this guy and I was like, yep, yeah, I'll get one of those. Then they just announced later that half of the run was glossy and half of it was matte. I don't collect glossy, so I'm hoping that this guy is matte, unlike the rest of the world that's hoping that they get a glossy. So I think I'm in like the clear. If I get a glossy, it'll be easy to find a matte, but I'm just hoping that he's not shiny. This is the surprise, as far as I get in the surprise round of shopping. The matte is way more common than the glossy, so I'm hopeful he's not looking super shiny. Why is it so stressful? He's Matt! Yes! Thank you! He's Matt, guys! I've gotten everything I've wanted so far from Briar. There he is in all his smushed faced glory. But he's Matt, so I'll take it. They've done a really good job of taking his color and giving him that faded belly. So there we go. Perfect! Love it, love it, love it. Five briars and the celebration pony. So six briars total. I had a mini briar fest sale and thank you so much to everyone that ordered. That was great. That'll actually shipped out today as well. So it's briar fest day. Then like I said, I'm doing a live show next weekend. And so I have a really busy summer for the rest of the summer now too. <laughs> We're doing like live show and then I'm doing a camping trip. Then I'm doing a sculpture show with family visiting. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and happy collecting. I hope you all had a great Firefest and thanks again for supporting mine.